Olympics. This morning, we're introducing you to an Army officer turned Paralympian in 2004. Melissa Stockwell became the first female American soldier to lose a limb in the Iraq War. Just four years later, she was the first veteran of that conflict to qualify for the Paralympic Games. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Dana Jacobson recently met Stockwell at the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs. They discussed her journey to Tokyo and what it means to be part of Team USA. I get asked a lot, how'd you end up in the Army? Short and sweet, I love our country. Melissa Stockwell was a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army's Transportation Corps when she deployed to Iraq in March of 2004. Three weeks later, within seconds, the entire trajectory of her life changed. We were going into central Baghdad, and we left the gate that morning, and I was in a vehicle, a Humvee, that had five of us soldiers in it. And about 10 minutes into that convoy, we went under this bridge, and there was just this deafening, I mean, boom, and there's black smoke, and there's smell of metal, and the windshields crashed in, and our vehicle is like swerving to the left, and we ricochet off of a guardrail. To make a long story pretty short, um, that roadside bomb that we hit did take my left leg above the knee. It was gone, it was severed immediately, and thankfully there was a combat medic um, a few vehicles back who knew I was hurt, pulled me out of the vehicle, put a tourniquet on, and um, really saved my life. Stockwell was 24 years old and soon found herself at Walter Reed Army Medical Center among a sea of wounded veterans. And I remember getting there and I looked around and I saw soldiers who were missing both legs. They had a leg and an arm missing. They had lost their eyesight. And I thought, holy cow, am I lucky? I mean, all I lost was one leg. You thought you were lucky. I was a lucky one. I had three good limbs, my mind, my eyes. I had my life. So kind of accepting the loss of my leg very early on because, I mean, talk about perspective. Once an athletic kid who dreamt of going to the Olympics as a gymnast, Stockwell was now an injured soldier who sought refuge in the pool at Walter Reed. I jumped in the pool for the first time after missing my leg, and I didn't have to wear a prosthetic leg. Right. And I got in, and it was just like this freeing feeling. It's almost like I forgot as well I was missing my leg. I randomly loved the smell of chlorine. And I think I'd probably got in the pool like days after I heard about the Paralympics. It was just kind of this like natural fit and decided that I was gonna give it a shot in the sport of swimming. It was 2004. Four years later, you end up in the Paralympics swimming. I know, it was great. That was a total long shot to make the team, so I'd always been an athlete. But thinking about how amazing it would be to, you know, represent a country, I defended over in Iraq, wear that Team USA uniform on the world's biggest athletic stage. I mean, showing the world that I wasn't sitting in a dark room with the lights off, but yeah. I was out there living it and seeing what I could do. She competed in three swimming events in Beijing in 2008 and served as Team USA's flag bearer at the closing ceremony. This flag that I am so passionate about, sold out stadium. I mean, looking back, it was what was meant to be. You wanted to serve the country, mm -hmm. and you were. It was. It was yeah. a different way than what you thought. Very but you much still so. Were. I think, you know, the military and the Paralympics, it's a very different uniform. Of Blue. course. But it's, they represent such similar things. I mean, defending, representing, it's all for the same country. Stockwell's dreams didn't end there. Apparently, for you, it wasn't enough mm. to just go to a Paralympics as a swimmer, let's completely switch up sports now, yes. and let's try to be a triathlete <laughs> at the next games. I used to think triathletes were crazy, because it's like you swim, you bike, and you run, like on the same day, and like, who wants to do that? But I knew how to swim, I had gotten a running leg, I had a bike, I'm like, you know what, let's give it a shot. But before the Rio games, she decided to, as she put it, have a kid real quick. Not that there's anything quick Add about Add another that. challenge into the yeah. mix. Yeah. <laughs> Coming back from having a baby and your entire body changed. My son was born in 2014. Right. The games were in 2016. I had to qualify in 2015. So like coming back from that was the hard, I like to say it was harder than losing my life. Was it I really? Mean, it was so difficult because your body changes, everything changes. It's not just your body change that you're it's trying your to deal outlook, with, it's your life, it's, it's your time. It's yeah. juggling things, but at the same time it kind of gave me that sense of purpose. Too. And I was named to the 2016 Paralympic team for Rio. Thanks. Bye. It was great. Yes. 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 Don't bet against you because yeah. you didn't just make the team. Right. Stockwell competed in the inaugural Paralympic triathlon in Rio in 2016. Her race was on 9 11. Of any day that could have been, it was September 11th. 
putting that USA uniform on. That race was about so much more than me. It was about those who had given the ultimate sacrifice. Every swim stroke, bike pedal, run stuff was going to be for them. And crossing the finish line, I got a bronze medal. My teammates got gold and silver. USA Sweep, September 11th, on the podium. Three American flags, our national anthem. I mean, it is a moment that will go down as one of the greatest moments in my life. A great moment in a storied life that revolves around service and patriotism. There's all these like metaphoric roadside bombs that I think happen in all of our lives. And it's kind of how you perceive them. We have the choice and how we get through them and we can choose to accept them, to surround ourselves with a team of people that love us, that care about us, to believe in ourselves and little by little take those small successes every day. And it's amazing what it can end up to be. And it's not perfect. It's never perfect. Life is not perfect, never, never. If that's not enough, perseverance. Stockwell was in a bike crash last month, broke her back, uh, transfer her process, her uh, vertebra, I should say, sorry. Still, she considers herself lucky. She says she could have been paralyzed. Instead, she has an opportunity to, in her words, make it to the other side. And we've seen her do that before. She Amazing. will be competing on Friday. What a spirit she Unbelievable has. Unbelievable woman. Mother wow. of two. Great Irre example. She's irrepressible. On Friday. She'll be competing on yeah. Friday. Yeah. No, I love to have uh, a baby uh, right quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. And then it was more difficult than losing your leg. Hey. Yeah.